In this video, we will be learning about sequences and arrays. To do that, we will be using a problem from ISI Entrance 2012. This is problem number 3, Subjective. First, let me tell you what the problem is. So, we have an array of numbers, rather an infinite matrix of numbers, that looks like this. 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and so on. The second row contains 2, 5, 9, 14, etc. Then we have 4, 8, 13, and so on, 7, 12. So, obviously, you have to complete each of these rows and they go on for infinitely many numbers. So, the last, sec the last row that I will write down is 11, and so on. Okay. Now, the question is, question, what is the position of the number 20096? So, you have to find the row number and the column number of this particular value, 20096. For example, if you look at number 8, what is the row number? It's third row, second column. So, for 8, row is 3, column is 2. Similarly, what is the row number and the column number of 20096? Now, to do this problem, we will first use a method that will not work. And then we will go to another method that works. So why, why, why are you going to do that? So let's come here and write that down. Method 1 does not work, but we learn something. And method 2 works and we get the answer. So it's often the case with problems like this that there are variety of approaches and maybe you don't get an answer from an approach but yet you learn something. So let's look at this. Uh, in the method 1 that does not work, let's start with that. So we have 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 and so on, 2, 5, 9, 14 and so on, 4, 8, 13, etc., 7, 12, so on, 11, so it goes on forever. Okay, so what we will do is we'll find a general formula for an element in rth row and kth column. A general formula in rth row and kth column. Let's see how we can do that. So first notice that the gaps are increasing in each turn. So 1 to 3, the gap is plus 2. 3 to 6, the gap is plus 3. 6 to 10, the gap is plus 4 and so on. If you go column wise, you'll see 1 to 2, the gap is plus 1. 2 to 4, the gap is plus 2. 4 to 7, the gap is plus 3. 7 to 11, the gap is plus 4 and so on. Okay, so what is the first number in rth row? 
let's try to find that out so r in this particular case can be 1 if it's the first row can be 2 if it's the second row can be 3 if it's the third row and so on so how do you find the rth row well the first row is starting with 1 this is the value the first row is starting with 1 and then for each row you either add a 1 for the next row you add another 2 for the next row you add another 3 and so on so for rth rows the last one you will be adding is r minus 1 let me bring that here so you start with 1 this is the first row and then if you want to go up to rth row you have to add up to r minus 1 because you have already added the first row is starting with 1 and then you have to add r minus 1 more things to get r rows okay so this part 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to r minus 1 this is simply the triangular number r, r minus 1 th triangular number or the sum of r minus 1 natural numbers you probably already know the formula of this so this is 1 plus I will just add this portion so 1 plus r minus 1 times r minus 1 plus 1 by 2 you know the sum of n natural numbers 1 plus 2 up to n is n into n plus 1 by 2 this is often known as the nth triangular number okay so that's an important formula you should know this you, sh you can try to derive it if you don't know it i have discussed it in other videos as well so this is 1 plus r into r minus 1 by 2 this is the first number of the rth row the first number of the rth row so now how to find out the number in the kth column okay so notice that the numbers once you reach the rth row let's say you reach the third row you add r plus 1 r plus 2 r plus 3 and so on so for example if you are in the second row you add first you add 3 then you add 4 then you add 5 and so on that's a general pattern you start with the first number then you add one more than that then you add one more than that then you add one more than that and so on okay so you start with the first number and then you add one more so in the rth row in the rth row so suppose you are in the fourth row the first number that you add is plus five one more than four one more than four so that's plus five uh, that's exactly seven plus five is twelve okay. so in the rth row you start by adding r plus one that's my point so the first number that you have in the rth row is 1 plus r into r minus 1 by 2 now the second number onward second number is found by adding r plus 1 to this first number the third number is found by adding r plus 2 to the first number to, uh, to the remaining pieces so like this the kth number in the kth column you can say is found by adding r plus k minus 1 to the remaining pieces right okay so we are almost there so we have 1 plus r into r minus 1 by 2 now you have k r's or rather k minus 1 r's starting from the second number up to the kth number so k minus 1 r and then you have 1 plus 2 plus up to k minus 1 so that is the k minus 1th triangular number 
So that's k minus 1 times k by 2. So this is the general formula of the element in the rth row kth column. So if you input r and k, if you plug in r and k in this particular formula, you get the number in the rth row and the kth column. It really doesn't help us because we want the reverse. We already know the number in the rth row and the kth column, which is 20096. We want the values of r and k, which is very difficult to find. I mean, it's a reverse calculation. So as I told you, this method one will not work. Nevertheless, we kind of learned how to compute the r kth value in an array, in an infinite array. That might be handy in other problems. Okay. Now let's go to the method two that actually works. So this one works. So again, we look 